You've been trying to grow your social media followers and your engagement for your brand, but you can't seem to grow any further. Do you actually need to build a social media strategy? The answer is yes! Hey guys, my name is Martin and today I'm going to teach you how to create a social media strategy in 8 different steps. There are a lot of misconceptions that only big companies require a social media strategy, but that is not true. Building a social media strategy is important for any business regardless of its size. It is one of the fastest ways you can find if something works for your brand. Before I show you the 8 steps to creating your social media marketing strategy, be sure to subscribe to us because we're going to release more contents just like this. Alright guys, let's get into it. The first step to creating your social media marketing strategy is to set up 3 SMART goals. What are SMART goals? SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time-bound goals. So it can be something like you want to gain 100 social media followers specifically on Instagram within the next 30 days. The most important thing to note is not to measure vanity metrics. So what you need to measure are metrics that really matter to your business. Step number two is to learn your audience. You should not only know who they are, but you need to understand them better. You can gather real world data and not just assuming on what they like. Afterwards, you can create audience personas so that you know what type of content your audience resonates with. From there, you will understand what type of content they like, want, need, and most importantly, are willing to share. And most probably, your audience are going to stick by you because you are giving the content that they want. The third step is to research your competition. But why should you research on your competition? Hmm. So what you need to do here is to conduct a competitive analysis of what your competitors are doing. You can create similar content to them, only if it's good, and find their weaknesses and see which type of content you can do better. So in short, replicate their strengths and dominate on their weaknesses. Step number four is to conduct a social media audit. So if you're unsure about how to create a social media audit, we have a template that is available for you in the description box below. So why do you need to conduct a social media audit? You need to conduct a social media audit so that you can find out more about what type of social media marketing efforts that you have done before that is working well for you and what just sucks. So you need to ask yourself, what's working and what's not? Who's engaging with me? And what are my competitors doing that is better than what I'm doing? So that you can know where you stand on your social media landscape. Step number five. Set up accounts and improve existing profiles. So you need to determine which platforms you want to use and how you'll be using them. For example, most companies are using Twitter for customer relationships. So maybe that's something that works for your brand as well. So after you set up your accounts, you need to optimize them. Fill up all your profile fields with all the keywords that you are going after. And lastly, use images that are sized correctly on each platform. Step number six is to find inspirations. You can find inspirations not only from your competitors, but from other businesses in other industries that you like. Take note of what type of content they publish and how they engage with their followers. The most interesting part about social media platforms is that you can even ask your followers what type of content they would like to see. Step number seven is to create a social media content calendar. So what is a social media content calendar? It is where you are going to list down the different type of contents you are going to publish on your social media platforms the next few days, weeks, or even months. So why do you need to create one? It is great because you can visually see what contents you are going to publish in the future. At the same time, you can be mentally prepared on what content you need to create. The final step of creating your social media marketing strategy involves you having to test, evaluate, and repeat the whole process over and over again until you reach your social media marketing goals. There are tons of free tools out there and even Facebook, Instagram, Twitter have their own free insights tool where you can use to see all your data. So again, with the data that you have in hand, re-evaluate and test your marketing efforts so that you can reach your goal. So, that's all of the 8 steps to create your social media marketing strategy and I hope you found it useful for your own business. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button because we're going to release more content just like this. And as always guys, stay creative.